Once upon a time, 1,000 days ago, launched by the Regional Council and the Chamber of Commerce and helped by the renowned economist Jeremy Rifkin, a new idea for our future arose. This new project gathered political actors, companies, research scientists, civil society, associations, NGOs, banks and financials. They called it the Third Industrial Revolution. Codename Rev3. It took place in Eau de France, one of the best consumer zones in the world. Six million inhabitants, two million of them less than 25 years old. 1,500 billion euros of purchasing power and 78 million consumers in a 300 kilometer radius. GDP, 154 billion euros. Number one in France for producing cars, trains, packaging. Number one in France for data storage, call centers, distance selling, digital entertainment. Number one in France for seafood processing, agricultural exports, chemical industry, steel. It's an ideal place for logistics. Ports, the canal to the Seine, airports, highways, the Channel Tunnel. Nine prestigious universities and 40 renowned schools as well. Engineering, sciences, business and trade, arts, advertising, computer graphics. And of course, Eau de France is a pleasant place in Europe because of the Eau de France way of life. Eau de France was the cradle of the first and the second industrial revolutions. There were coal mines, the spinning, and steel industries. We have to successfully enter into the third industrial revolution, the missing link between energetic transition and numeric transformation. Our challenge, make ideas come true. Here we have the best in research, storing energy for tomorrow's batteries, for mobile phones, computers, and even pacemakers. We are working on methods and tools for tomorrow's industry. In our world, 3D printers create new 3D printers. We set up places where companies, inventors and schools can share and exchange. Our first and best resource, the capacity to change our point of view and move towards sustainable development. Less is more. We have conceived new building materials using natural products such as flax and straw. Lightweight and with better thermal and sonic insulation. Now, everything we make must produce more energy than it will use. Nothing is lost. Everything is transformed. Steel industry, energy and heat provide central heating for thousands of local people. Imagine that one of the first web hosting providers in the world invents innovative solutions for cooling thousands of computers and server rooms, just using air and water. Sharing is another way of improving efficiency. We imagine new ways of transportation for people. With just one card, you can use either a bicycle or a car. Take the train, bus, metro or tramway all over the territory. In Eau de France, we produce 30% of French cars, electric cars too. Some for everyday use, some for pleasure. And we are building the network of recharging areas all over the region. Of course, the industry designing and producing these charging stations is local. By the way, transportation is not only for people. Consumer goods also need to find their way too, from all over the world to the heart of our great cities. We are thinking of the logistics tools of tomorrow. As we said, nothing is lost, everything is transformed. All right, let's head for a zero waste challenge. Another new activity, collecting waste cooking oil and transforming it into gold. Yes, that creates jobs too. A new company and less waste and pollution. Here we collect, sort and select old clothes. Social employment, new life for old objects. 
Can you imagine that your old blue jeans could be used to insulate your house? It's called the circular economy. Now, more than a thousand days after it all began, we are creating new jobs and new dynamic companies, making money with efficient sustainability. Our new buildings produce more energy than they use. We live with a new model of development, and everybody can be a part of it. By changing our point of view, we simply stimulate a new way for a generation of economic wealth, including a better way for human health. Our third industrial revolution gives us the opportunity to transcend the values we are all proud of. Proximity, generosity, work, bravery. Once upon a time. By the way, it's better than a fairy tale. It's our future and our reality. Now, Europe has a new point of contact with the world. Come and take a look. Welcome to Eau de France.